Well, now, welcome back. If you just they join us, you don't miss plenty. And I would like to tell you, on top, on top of the case, yes, you don't miss top to resegment, you don't miss super headline review, you don't miss sports. You don't even miss our first interview where we talk about this 5K sharing formula. Well, but you're there in time for our very last interview for the show today. I want to talk about, of course, finding purpose for life, purposeful living. Um, also, when they research this topic, now I read, they say, what do you mean to live a purposeful life? Now, when person, they move towards the goal when he don't set for himself. Not just any kind of goal, a major goal where we say person don't set. The goal where we say align with your value and your passion. Above all, it they make you the happy. Mm. So that's just a sweet, that's just a talk out. Value, passion, happiness. But you know, easy, you know, to achieve or rather to live a purposeful life. But we get person where we say go join us inside studio this morning. Um, Salt, SCN. she be writer and blogger. And then she go help us understand really what it mean to live a purposeful life. Now, one template, uh, Abi, different, different people get their own matter. Uh, Madam Essien, we thank you as you join us on top of our show this morning. I don't talk my own small definition of what in purposeful life be, but you will be saying you'll be the experts for inside the matter. What in it be, really? <laughs> thank you, Onye Sunday. First of all, I'll just want to thank you now plenty for this invite, well, now invite me on top of our show today. A grateful, well, well. Well, you don't already begin to give your own definition. And the truth of the matter say everybody get their own definition of this purpose matter. But make I tell you the one they do me, how I believe the purpose be. I believe say purpose now for you, for example, on your Sunday, waiting be the why where God take create you. Why are you here for this earth? Your mama, when your mama born you, as, as God, they look for you inside that your mama belly. What did God say you go do for this earth? That thing, now be your purpose. That's why. Why on your Sunday day here? Why a there were day here? That thing where God puts you on this earth to do, that is your purpose. And I believe, say, you feel they do different other things, where be your passion, where you love, where you like, until that your thing, wait, until it connect with the thing where God connect, uh, create you for. You no go happy, you no go switch your belly well, well. But the moment where all those things where you they do, your passion, the thing where they make you happy, where they give you satisfaction, when you align well, well, with the reason where, why God put you for this ground, that's when you go happy well, well. That's when your belly goes sweet you well, well. That's when I believe, say, that thing where you talk about fulfillment, now that time it will come. All right. Uh, now, very interesting matter, we say you don't talk. And people go look the matter, say, this issue of religion differ. You get people when we say, they go to support the matter, say, waiting God, put a certain consign me. I no plan when they bomb me. My mama and papa just carry me, bring me come for this earth, and do the ministry money, chop rice on top of my head, send me go school. At what point will be say individual, suppose they ask themselves, say, what in carry me come this life? You get people when we say, um, you know, either economic hardship or the means to practice what they learn for school. Don't carry them, follow one particular career path, you know, they go. And they don't come master that career path well, where they can't look and say, uh, bless them, my own purpose for life to do what in they do so. You get people when we say, get one career path, but they don't also deviate, enter another, because then if you say, See waiting, they always call me every time. You get waiting, they always call me. You get waiting, they say, when I put my hand, do them. Whether they pay me, or they not pay me, if they give me joy. So at what point an individual goes sit down for a life, third person say, what if, what if I begin to find my purpose for life? What if my purpose for life? And how you feel take identify your purpose for life? Natural talk you talk on your Sunday. To be honest, there, there are plenty of people where they work, where they chase career, corporate ladder and everything, but as in they do them, they're not happy at all because inside them something they still they missing, you know. That so until they get to that point where they know say you know by hook or by crook, even if na 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 I die here, make I do the one way go sweet me. Until that that until they wake up for that morning, they're not go change you. But I pray that they will. But you see how you go identify what be your purpose separate from your corporate career or whatever it is that you went to school for, maybe for your parents or whatever. Now you go sit down and say, if today they don't even pay me, what will be that thing where I love to do? Even if I don't make any money on top of them, but as they do, I'm so just they sweet me. Now you go look inside that matter where we're now inside there somewhere your purpose. 
But and the way it is is that if that thing really be your purpose, as everything that happened for this world, somehow or the other, you will be able to help people with that purpose. You will also be able to take care of yourself one way or the other. You talk to make and no put that uh, God factor inside, but it had me small because we not create ourselves. Now some now, now something create us for here. And if we don't go back to that place, that person will create us, we're not going to get the answer well, well. So it, even if that thing is inside you, you are, you are longing to do it, you still have to go back to that. The, the person who created you is like a car now. Only. A car was created for a purpose. The person who created the car has a manual for how that car should to deliver you know, you know why I bring, you know why I bring up this issue because I mean it's our world today. Um, you get people, of course, we still believe in the Darwin, the Darwin theory, you know, about how man came about, saying so that man has cell, where we say begin to grow. So now I make, you know, in as much of, of course, we're a very religious country and the God factor remains there. I want the conversation, yeah. make it be say, make it also touch people where we say, no, so follow for that belief, you understand? Where we say, yes. So now, no matter how you take, enter this world, you don't already date this world, you know? Yeah. So how do you begin to identify your purpose? I like what you just talk now, we say, even from your purpose, right? You feel also fine how you feel take chop, take care of yourself. But again, yeah. we want to say that no say their own purpose, not if you put food on top of their table. I will give you an example of a girl called um, what's her name again? Um, Akin Timei. I can't remember her first name, which is rather unfortunate because I'm a girl. Um, she's a 20 year old girl. She day Harvard now. Um, and now girl when we say Aramide Akin Timei, yes. Now girl when we say now that girl interview as a journalist when we say really shock me. Um, my girl, when we say turn down job for blue chip company, you know, to mm. begin teach out of school children for Nigeria. At the mm. age of 20, she come up with first class for economics from university. Mm -hmm. um, she don't get admission now. She don't get scholarship to enter, uh, you know, she don't get admission to enter Harvard. But the thing we say, when I be the interview the girl, she talks, say, if I die now, as a 20 year old mm -hmm. young woman, she said, if I die now, I can confidently say that. Um, mm -hmm. I said, she said, if I die now, I will die happy, knowing that, yeah, you know, I have empty. done something for humanity. Now, I, mean, yeah. I mean, and if you want to begin, look, say, may she begin all her life, begin teach out of school children. We not say money not go there for yourself, because children will say, they're not going to pay you couple at the end of the day. So help us balance this matter out. Is this advisable when we say, once you don't identify your purpose in life, if your purpose not purpose, when we say, nothing feed you or your family, it is good to ensure, say, you get something by the side. You know, when go feed you, why you still pursue your purpose, or do you just abandon this and continue with your purpose all through? No, reality, no reality, no go agree, agree make with that. Yeah. So if you are, if you are a real, realistic person and you are a responsible person, you have to balance it. So you go chase that your purpose because that's the one way they switch you. That's your eternal legacy you're building there. Mm, that's that's the, the one way on your deathbed. When you get there, you go. They say, okay, Papa God, they carry me. They go. I don't die empty. But at the same time you would also have to figure out a way to earn an income, to take care of yourself. And the thing is that if you're really fulfilling purpose and you're really helping mankind, there's no way it will come back some way. That, the, that equation will not be balanced if you are left hanging. It doesn't work that way. Let's, if, let's just call, let's say it's the universe. As long as you're helping the universe and you're pushing out good into the universe, the universe will always pay you back and make sure that you are taken care of. That's the way it works. I agree with you. you. Know? I agree so you, with you, can you. Do, you can do you can do purpose, but you will not be left hanging. Somehow or the other, you may not be living in a lap of luxury, yes. but you know, go the day hanging, Sha. You go day okay. You go day okay, last, last. Thank you very much. On that very powerful note, and then we'll end this interview um, and this segment of the show. Madam Salt SCN, thank you so much. Um, she'll be writer and blogger. We'll just discuss finding your purpose and living a fulfilling life. We'll go take some more break. When we come back, now, to conclude this Good Morning Niger show this Wednesday morning, local more to see. Good morning, sir. I do wear more boy, boy. A taro and your money, ja. O to tomorrow. There were no Jama. Ndi why? In our kind of Nigeria, or to some money, Ndi Nigeria, or no watch and high name. Kuna Kalo. Good morning, Niger.
Well, now, welcome back. Of course, now the concluding part of our show this morning. Pretty interesting, pretty packed show. Very, very interesting. Uh, now yes. we get um, today, and I don't hear him now, of course, find your purpose for this life. Not just the, the room like nylon when breeze they blow. <laughs> find where you all hang. And of course, if waiting, they switch, you know, they will give you money. Uh, focus on where they give you money. But ensure, say, you find your happiness. And of course, all those kind of life-fulfilling, you know, mission. Yeah. Now, always something will say they help humanity. But she don't talk and say, bad as he bad, the universe go everly. Pay you back. Yes, uh, just before we end the show, we just get one very disturbing news. We say dropping from Paul's um, NG this morning, mm -hmm. and I uh, say Nollywood actor Ernest Suzu don't die. A very mm -hmm. very painful um, story this particular morning. He been passed on. Yes. Um, according to the story, and he been passed on on Tuesday when we said uh, yesterday, January twenty sixth. Um, of course, then talk say for some time now. He be the seeking wife Jennifer, according to the report from Paul's. Confirmed the death and reveal say the actor just slump, you know, and um, he no wake up. Mm. Now the gist will be say um, been day here. So Nollywood, of course, has been thrown into mourning, um, you know, following this particular news. Ernest, a very vibrant young man, um, before his death, they talk say the actor been battled with some um, stroke and some personal problems. We mm -hmm. keep him. Um, out of limelight. It's like Nollywood bad boy now. Yes, no. You know, yes, him no. and Jim Ike, them that time, yes, they had to do action kinds, mm -hmm. um, you know, as he be. And um, this is very, very painful because he's a father and yeah. he's also a, um, a husband yeah. Um, yeah. as well. Jennifer, our prayers go out to you. Yeah, so um, this morning, people will be saying, no, I'm no in children. Maybe we can just try to reach out to them. Um, as he be, we can get to